is this no man of Aaron's descendants who has a skin disease or a discharge is to eat from the holy offerings until he gets clean. Whoever touches anything made unclean by a dead person or by a man who has an emission of a semen or whoever touches any swarming creature that makes him unclean or any person who makes him unclean. Whatever is uncleanness, the man who touches any of these will remain unclean until evening and is not to eat from the holy offerings unless he has bathed his body with water. When the sun has set, he will become clean and then he may eat from the holy offerings for that is his food. He must not eat an animal that died naturally or was mauled by wild beast, making himself unclean by it. I am Yahweh. They must keep my instruction, or they will be guilty and die because they profane it. I am Yahweh who sets them apart. No one outside the priest's family is to eat the holy offering. A foreigner staying with a priest or a hired hand is not to eat the holy offering. But if a priest purchases someone with his money, that person may eat it, and those born in his house may eat his food. If the priest's daughter is married to a man outside a priest's family, she is not to eat from the holy contributions. But if the priest's daughter becomes widowed or divorced, has no children and returns to her father's house, as in her youth, she may share her father's food, but no outsider may share it. If anyone eats a holy offering in error, he must add a fifth to its value and give the holy offering to the priest. The priest must not profane the holy offerings. The Israelites give to the Lord by letting the people eat their holy offerings and having them bear the penalty of restitution. For I am Yahweh who sets them apart. Acceptable Sacrifices The Lord spoke to Moses, speak to Aaron, his sons, and all the Israelites, and tell them, any man of the household of Israel, or of the foreign residents in Israel, who presents his offering, whether they present free will gifts, or payment of vows to the Lord as burnt offerings, must offer an unbellished male from the cattle, sheep, or goats, in order for you to be accepted. You are not to present anything that has a defect, because it will not be accepted on your behalf. When a man presents a fellowship sacrifice to the Lord to fulfill a vow or a free will offering from the herd or flock, it has to be unblemished. To be acceptable, there must be no defect in it. You are not to present any animal to the Lord that is blind, injured, maimed, or has a running sore, festering rash, or scabs. You may not put any of them on the altar as a fire offering to the Lord. You may sacrifice as a free will offering any animal from the herd or flock that has an elongated ellen, or stunted lamb, but it is not acceptable as a vile offering. You are not to present the Lord anything that has bruised, crushed, torn, or severe testicle. You must not sacrifice them in your land. Neither you nor a foreigner are to present food to your God from any of these animals. They will not be accepted for you because they are deformed and have a defect. The Lord spoke to Moses, when an ox, sheep, or goat is born, it must remain with its mother for seven days. From the eighth day on, it will be acceptable as a gift, a fire offering to the Lord. But you are not to slaughter an animal from the herd or flock on the same day as it, as its young. When you sacrifice a, a thank offering to the Lord, sacrifice it so that you may be accepted. It is to be eaten on the same day. Do not let any of it remain until morning. I am Yahweh. You are to keep my commands and do them. I am Yahweh. You must not profane my holy name. I must be treated as holy. Among the Israelites, I am Yahweh who sets you apart. The one who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Yahweh. Holy days, the Lord spoke to Moses, speak to the Israelites and tell them these are my appointed times. The times of the Lord that you will proclaim as sacred a 
assemblies work may be done for six days but on the seventh day there must be a sabbath of complete rest a sacred assembly you are not to do any work it is a sabbath to the lord wherever you live these are the lord's appointed times the sacred assemblies you are to proclaim at their appointed time the passover to the lord comes in the first month at twilight on the 14th day of the month the festival of unleavened bread to the lord is on the 15th day of the same month for seven days you must eat unleavened bread on the first day you are to hold a sacred assembly you are not to do any daily work you are to present a fire offering to the lord for seven days on the seventh day there will be a sacred assembly you must not do any daily work the lord spoke to moses speak to the israelites and tell them when you enter the land i am giving you and reap its harvest you are to bring the first sheaf of your harvest to the priest he will wave the sheaf before the lord so that you may be accepted the priest is to wave it on the day after the sabbath on the day you wave the sheaf you are to offer a year old male lamb without blemish as a burnt offering to the lord its grain offering is to be four quarts of fine flour mixed with oil as a fire offering to the lord a pleasing aroma and its drink offering will be one quart of wine you must not eat bread roasted grain or any new grain until this very day and until you have brought the offering to your god this is to be a permanent statue throughout your generation wherever you live you are to count seven complete weeks starting from the day after the sabbath the day you brought the sheaf of the presentation offering you are to count 50 days until the day of the seventh sabbath and then present an offering of new grain to the lord bring two loaves of bread from your set settlements as a presentation offering each of them made from four quarts of fine flour baked with yeast as first fruits to the lord you are to present with the bread seven unblemished male lambs as your old one as your old one young bull to young bull and two rams they will be a burnt offering to the lord with the with their grain offerings and drink offerings a fire offering of of a pleasing aroma to the lord you are also to prepare one male goat as a sin offering and two male lambs a year old as a fellowship sacrifice the priest will wave the lamb with the bread the priest will wave the lambs with the bread of the first as a presentation offering before the lord the bread and the two lambs will be holy to the lord for the priest on that same day you are to make up a, pro a proclamation you are to make a proclamation and hold a sacred s assembly you are not to do any daily work this is to be a permanent statue wherever you live throughout your generations when you reap the harvest of your land you are not to reap all the way to the edge of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest leave them for the poor and the foreign resident i am yahweh your god the lord spoke to moses tell the israelites in the seventh month on the first day of the month you are to have a day of complete rest commemoration and joyful shouting a sacred assembly you must not do any daily work but you must present a fire offering to the lord the lord again spoke to moses the tenth day of the seventh month is the day of atonement you are to hold a sacred assembly and practice self-denial you are to present a fire offering to the lord on this particular day you are not to do any work for it is a day of atonement to make atonement for yourselves before the lord your god if any person does not practice self-denial on this particular day he must be cut off from his people i will destroy among his people anyone who does not who does any work on this day on this same day you are not to do any work this is a per, a permanent statue throughout your generations wherever you live it will be a sabbath of complete rest for you and you must practice self-denial you are to oops you have to observe your sabbath from the evening of the ninth day of the month until the following evening the lord spoke to moses tell the 
Israelized festival of booths to the Lord begins on the 15th day of this seventh month and it continues for seven days. There is to be a sacred assembly on the first day. You are not to do any daily work. You are to present a first offering to the Lord for seven days. On the eighth day, you are to hold a sacred assembly and present a fire offering to the Lord. It is a solemn gathering. You are not to do any daily work. These are the Lord's appointed times that you are to proclaim as sacred assemblies for presenting fire offerings to the Lord, burnt offerings and grain offerings, sacrifices and drink offerings, each on its designated day. These are in addition to the offerings for the Lord's Sabbath, your gifts, all you vow, all your vow offerings and all your free will offerings that you give to the Lord. You are to celebrate the Lord's festival on the fifth day of the seventh month for seven days after you have gathered the produce, the produce of the land. There will be complete rest on the first day and complete rest on the eighth day. On the first day, you are to take the product of majesty, trees, palm fronds, bows of leafy trees and willows of the brook, and rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You are to celebrate it as a festival to the Lord seven days each year. This is a permanent statue for you throughout your generations. You must celebrate it in the seventh month. You are to live in booths for seven days. All the native born of Israel must live in booths so that your generation may know that I made the Israelites live in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh, your God, Moses. So Moses declared the Lord's appointed time to the Israelites. Hebrew 8.